Okay, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Let's start with IELTS speaking part one. In IELTS speaking part one, after the formalities like checking your passport, ID card, and all that, examiner will ask you about your job, work, or study, or whatever you do. So the question goes like, do you work or study, or what do you do, or are you a student or do you work? Uh, and this uh, question should be answered in three or two senses simply to the point and remember one thing there are two words one is precise one is concise now uh, concise means to the point precise means according to the topic maybe yeah it's, it's that so your answer must be to the point according to the topic and it should be short answer short answer means four five sentences six sentences and all that just today before your class i was checking my whatsapp messages one of the students he had sent me a message a couple of weeks ago and his complaint was this he said sir i had my speaking test and examiner was not interested in my speaking whenever i answered after 60 70 percent of my answer examiner interrupted me and asked me the next question and he said in in part three also whenever i answered after four five sentences they stopped me and in part two also they gave me one minute and that's it so would that affect my bench score i told him no it is not going to affect your bench score today he got his result and guess he got seven band in speaking okay so examiners know what to see and all that okay so if examiners are going to actually this is a call from karachi you can just check that so examiners know what to check in your English. If they interrupt you, don't worry about it. I mean, now this is a very good case study that after two weeks he got seven band and examiner was not interested. They record your voice and they know they are answerable to Cambridge. So if they give you wrong band score, you can go for EUR and after EUR, most definitely Cambridge University will ask those examiners what the hell is going on. Don't you know how to give band score to the students and all that? So that's why examiners are under severe pressure as well. So don't worry. If examiner is not interested, they are recording your voice. If examiner is not going, uh, showing positive gestures, positive body language, don't worry at all. Mind your own business. Then look at the recording device and talk to it. Because you know it's being recorded. So if the band score is not good, you can go for EUR. Now, whenever you answer the question, first of all, you need to understand the tense of the question. And we have mainly three tenses, present, past, and future. So you need to understand the tense of the question. This question is in present, this is in past. Do you, are you, have you, they are present. Uh, did you, had you, they are past. Will you, or are you going to, this is future. So you need to understand the tense of the question. After that, you should be very well familiar with WH questions. That if they ask me question with what, what does it mean? For example, what do you do in your free time? What do you eat for breakfast? What do you do in your spare time? So you should know if the question is with what, and then there is do, it's present. What did, past. What will, future. So you should, you should be ready for that, okay? Next, we've got where, why. Where is for location. Why is for reason. How is for method or manner. How something is done. Okay, who is for person. Who is your favorite celebrity? Who is this and that? So you should be familiar with WH questions. And with WH questions, the helping verb that they use, that is the tense of that very question, right? If they ask you a question, uh, what did you eat last time? Or what did you eat yesterday? And you say, I eat everything. I'm a very good eater. My mother is very happy. She says, you eat everything. <laughs> okay, so that's the wrong start, wrong answer. Again, I tell you, uh, irrelevant answers and you know we like we have this habit that we want to start our answer with the background for example what do you eat for breakfast eating is very important of part of everyday life different people eat different things some people are vegetarians some people are non vegetarians there are different type of foods which are cooked in my country I eat egg <laughs> So something like that, okay? So never give irrelevant answer. Never try to forcefully stuck a sentence into your talk. Like zabardasti ka ek jumla ghusana hai yahan pe, right? So so you think that sentence will give eight band, 
or or forcefully you try to put a word in your answer never do that that will decrease your bench score instead of increasing the bench score that will decrease your bench score because that is going to be irrelevant so never try to put irrelevant sentence irrelevant word into your answer answers should be concise precise and to the point and short answers start your answer directly from the question understand the tense of the question and then answer and as i told you before five tenses are important present simple past simple future simple we also call it present indefinite past indefinite and future indefinite after that present perfect and present perfect continuous these five tenses should be learned and mastered very well and they're going to ask you the question and you are already familiar with why when where how and as you answer there must be excitement for example what do you do in your spare time well in my spare time i do a couple of things first of all uh, okay so be excited it doesn't mean you got to laugh all the time but you have to be excited as you are answering so your excitement level a smile on your face will bring you very good bench score a student of mine got 8.5 band in speaking just because of these smiles and all in his english was good no doubt his english was good but along with the english he convinced the lady there was a lady examiner so he convinced the lady and yeah i mean he convinced the lady to give him the good bench score not not otherwise okay yeah now they are husband and wife <laughs> no not at all not at all okay yeah. one of my indian students he was so annoyed he was from indian punjab and you know punjabi people are usually aggressive he said sir she was asking me so many questions that i thought she is going to give me the rishta of her daughter <laughs> the examiner i said come on he said yes sir question and question and question and question and now they have done one more thing the same student who got seven bench score he told me this thing he said sir examiner asked me around 10 different questions on 10 different topics why is that because students cram the answers so in the past they used to have only one topic what do you like to eat how often do you go to the restaurant what type of food do you like now what do they do all the questions are on a variety of topics and when they have a doubt that you have crammed the answers or you have memorized the answers then they will ask you counter questions what's your favorite color and you have crammed the answer say why do you like this color all right why don't you like black color what do you think about black color then they will ask you counter questions why why not why why not and if your english is good you will answer the same gentleman said sir examiner asked me the question i kept talking and talking every question i answered with same energy and he got seven band examiner interrupted a lot and all that so don't worry about it answer every question and part 1 is going to be fine finally i'll tell you there is a pattern to answer your questions it's what i call a three step formula step number 1 answer the question directly to the point whatever the question is what is your favorite color you need to answer the question directly red has always been my favorite color since my childhood and use different wording different sentence structure different wording for example what do you like to eat i like to eat chicken what is it repetition what do you like to eat i love to have chicken for any meal of the day i love to have chicken for eat you use the word have for like you use the word love so like this when you change the words and you express yourself with emotions you always get good bench score so answer the question directly elaborate your answer in two to three sentences elaborate means explain right you can explain your answer in two to three sentences and finally in one sentence you have to conclude your answer and the last thing the last advice for those who want to get eighth band or above for 5 6 band that's okay i've told you enough for 7 7.5 to 8 band mainly use compound sentences i love to use my mobile because it is a good source of entertainment and it helps me a lot it's a compound sentence you're connecting your ideas together two ideas three ideas with the help of words that start with fan boys f a n b o y s So watch a short video on YouTube about how to make uh, compound sentences use compound sentences direct answers five tenses and inshallah at bandna pakkiyan okay yeah thank you very much